everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing another project for Missing Stamps. And for my card today, I'm going to be using the super fun stamp set called Ghosties, as well as a couple other products, and everything can be found linked in the description box below. And before I get started on my card today, I just want to take a closer peek at the fun images and sentiments that come in this stamp set. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to bring in my Misty and a piece of white cardstock and go ahead and stamp out that first ghost with some Copic Friendly ink. Next, I'm going to go ahead and color him in using some light blue Copic markers. Once I'm finished coloring, I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut that out. So next, to start on my card front, I'm going to bring in the tiny snowfall stencil, some clear texture paste, and some moody blues dazzle dust. Then I'm going to secure a piece of black cardstock along with the stencil onto my craft mat using some washi tape. my own shimmer paste i'm going to use just a tiny bit of the clear texture paste along with the moody blues dazzle dust and then just mix the two together and then spread that through my stencil Here's a closer look at the finished panel and once that's dry I'm gonna go ahead and start layering that up with some basic black and white patterns from this paper pad. Next I picked out these black and white stripes to create a, another layer on my card front. And so I'm going to set that aside while I trim down my stenciled panel to three and three quarters by five inches. Next, to trim down the stripe pattern paper, I really wanted the lines to go horizontally. So I trimmed this piece down to four and a quarter. And then I'm just going to bring in another piece and also trim that down to four and a quarter and then line up the pattern so that I can get a piece that equals four and a quarter by five and a half.
Next, I'm going to bring in some blue cardstock to match my ghost, and I'm going to create another layer behind the black cardstock. Next, I'm going to grab another piece of the black and white pattern paper from that paper pad as well as some oval dies and go ahead and trim that out. I ended up layering that onto another piece of blue cardstock as well and then I'm just going to start gluing everything down onto my card base. So next, I started playing around with the layout of my image and sentiment, and I had initially stamped out the sentiment that says, don't lose your head, but in a second you'll see that I went ahead and stamped out a different one from the set. Here you'll see that I'm using a white gel pen, and I'm just cleaning up a little smudge that I got on the pattern paper. Next, I went ahead and popped up my image using some foam tape. Here's where I decided to switch up my sentiment, and I went with the I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached, and I created a strip that was about a half inch by four and a quarter, and I just stamped that in the middle and then attached that across the front of the card. And for a final bit of embellishment, I brought in some silver sequins. And here's a closer look at my finished card. I think it turned out super fun, and it's definitely the perfect card for a belated birthday or other missed occasion. <laughs> I also really enjoy that pop of blue against the black and white pattern papers, and of course the shimmer from the Dazzle Dust. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!